It was Festival Sunday at this Coptic church, home to Christian immigrants from Egypt. Bishop Serapion performed baptism on the feast day of one of the congregation's patron saints. But thoughts turned to the homeland, which last week erupted in protests that have spread across the Muslim world. A violent assault in Libya last Tuesday claimed the lives of four American diplomats, including Ambassador Christopher Stevens. I look forward to exploring those possibilities with you. Stevens had promised to work with Libyans to help transform their country into a democracy. The protests were sparked by a film that ridicules the Prophet Muhammad. It was privately produced, but demonstrators blamed the U.S. government for it. The California man thought to be behind the film, Nakula Basli Nakula, says he is Coptic Christian. He has served prison time for bank fraud and was questioned Saturday about possible violations of his parole. The film, which is widely seen by Muslims as offensive, is not illegal under the free speech provisions of the U.S. Constitution. Los Angeles Bishop Serapion and other U.S. Coptic leaders condemn the film because we believe that it is against our Christian faith, which we are against insulting uh, the feeling of people. The film has been widely rejected in the Coptic community, says church member Mahir Saeed. And we don't uh, uh, say uh, bad uh, things about any religions. Saeed says he is worried that some Muslims have unjustly blamed all Coptic Christians in the West for the film. These church members say they do not know alleged filmmaker Nakula, but that the U.S. Coptic community has nothing to do with the movie, and that whoever produced it does not represent their faith, which demands respect for all religions. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.